Um, I haven't seen him since you left. Yes, mom, and I also noticed he was not inside his room when I went to dress it for him. Meaning what? and we landed in a place that words cannot describe. Mm. Sweden, I'm selling off everything we have. And that is not possible. What do you mean you're selling off everything? Sweden, that's the command that I just got. I am selling off everything, all those buildings that we've acquired. I'm selling them. Including this house? How can you sell everything? What happens to this family? What happens to us? Mumi, you just told me that I've been like this for hours. I saw heaven, I saw hell. I saw fire. I was with you when we started from the scratch. We built everything together. You cannot just wake up from one, some kind of whatever. And you're telling me now you want to sell everything. For what? 
This is a command from God to go sell your things and give to the poor. Chuck if I want to make heaven and I'm going to do it. No, which of the gods told you that? Definitely it's not the God in the Bible. For me, I have said it. Donate us to the poor. What happens to these children? These children will survive. If the birds of the air can survive, why do you think they will not survive? We are not birds. We are human beings. We are human beings. We are not selling anything. Everything we acquired for them. For me, this is the command that I just received and I am going to do it. it if you don't want to do yours, I am going to do mine. It is because not possible. I will make it to heaven. It is not just possible. I am selling off everything that I have and I'm giving the money to the poor. Let me see how you're going to get the documents in my possession. Okay, let's see how it goes. You're not there. serious. Everything we labored for all these years, you're telling me what, what I can't understand. Which of the gods told you that? Chief Mike, this is Alaji, the man I told you about, the one that owns the property. Alaji, this mm -hmm. is Chief Mike. Chief Mike, how are you doing? I'm fine, Alaji. Yeah. So, what's the deal? Yes, Alaji, I'll offer 160 million. That's not good at all. 200 million, that's what I put it. Did you go inside? Yes, I did. But considering the current situation in the country, you know, there's no money anywhere. Alaji. I'll give you 170 million last. Man, I put a lot of money into that house. I'm not in a hurry to sell. I'm not owing the bank. I can let you go for 180. Then why are you moody? I'm just pissed. I'm really, really pissed, you know. I was made to understand because I just got a car recently and she's yet to pay me my money. 1.5 M. It's been two years now. I'm just tired. I'm fed up. I heard that too. I actually just got a new car. I, I never knew she's owing you anyway. Can you imagine? Is it fair? You're owing you, but you can still get a new car. You're not even thinking about other people. I have bills to pay. You just give us some time, please. I'm just, I'm, I'm not just me. I'm just tired, man. I'm tired. What is it with those people? Why don't we just let their Allah rest a little bit? What? They are praying. They're not praying, they're disturbing. Do they have to shout 10 times a day before God answers? Is God deaf or do they feel he's deaf? Hello, madam. Point of correction is five times a day. And that's a call to prayer. Excuse me, was I talking to you? Yeah, you were indirectly talking to me. You were insulting my religion for God's sake. On the contrary, no. I wasn't insulting your religion, I was only stating the facts. What's the fact here? It's just your own opinion, okay? Whatever, the noise is just irritating. Woman, how can a call to prayer be irritating to you? Now, if I may ask you, how many times does your phone ring? Is that irritating to you? Don't you pick your calls? No, I think you need to check yourself. If a call to prayer irritates you, and your phone calls do not irritate you, then I think something is wrong with you. What has that got to do with this? He has everything to do with it. That is a call for Muslims to come together and pray to God and pray for the nation. And as a matter of fact, the prayer just takes just a few minutes. And that's all. Only a few minutes, you say? I don't think so. I'm sure you guys do not even know the meaning of all those Quranic verses you recite repeatedly and continuously, do you? We do. We know what we recite. All we do is say the Fatiha and one or two Quranic verses and that's all. I know that, but like I rightly said, I'm sure you guys do not know the meaning of all those Quranic verses you recite. If you do, prove it to me. Woman, I don't owe you any explanation. But I just want to warn you and tell you that you are in a public place and you don't open your mouth and begin to blab about religion because it is a very contentious issue. Now, are you understanding me? If an unenlightened fanatic had heard what you said, anything could have happened to you. Mr. Man, this is a democratic dispensation and in me there is something called freedom of speech. So I will say whatever I want to say whenever and wherever. Madam, there is something also called wisdom. Your Bible says that wisdom is the principal thing. Without wisdom, you go astray. I'm trying to warn you and tell you that it is wrong for you to open your mouth and say anything, just anything about religion because it is a contentious issue. If you want to take it, take it. But I want to tell you that you are treading on a very, very slippery sand. So please forgive my friend. She, she has just been in an irritable mood. A friend just got her upset. No, I'm sorry about the whole thing, yeah. 
So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Chief Mike, are we settled? 180 million. All I just told you that I will give you 170 last. 170 million last. Chief, the last that house can go for is 180 million. Nothing less. Madam, what happened? They are supposed to be in school. Why are they crying? My children were sent out of school because I was unable to pay their fees for this term. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, just enter the car. Let me go and see what I can do. If you're in a better position, my brother, please help the poor. If you're in a better position, my sister, please help the poor. Life from the poor is in your hand. Oh. Mr. Franklin, I called you. Yes, madam. I received three phone calls from you. I hope everything's well. It's about your children's school fees. They've not paid. That can't be correct. Their school fees have been paid ages ago. Long time ago? Yeah, in fact, I paid them three weeks ago with a reference number, Franklin. Maybe you haven't checked a bank account, have you? I will cross-check with yeah, the accountant. Too, yeah. Yeah, and if you do, let me know because uh, it's embarrassing. I'm, I'm so sorry for Please, the embarrassment. You check and let me know, okay? Okay, sir. Have a nice day, sir. Sweetheart, I saw these kids as I was driving out. They say you drove them out because of school fees. They were crying when I saw them. Exactly. They've not paid their school fees, so anybody that does not pay cannot enter the school premises. Sweetheart, please. Please, I want you to help because of me. I beg you. This is a school. It's not a charity organization. And in schools, you pay school fees. If they don't have money, let them go. Or you can actually pay for them. Their fees are 80,000 naira. Do you have it to pay so that they will come in? No, I don't have cash right now. Madam, I am very sorry. You don't have money to pay for their school fees? Just take them home. Do not let them miss the exams anyway. Please, I beg you. Sweetheart, pay for them. Since you don't have money to pay, go. Excuse me, I have a meeting with the teachers. Okay. Sorry. No, Wahala. Better position. My brother, please help the poor. If you're in a better position, my sister, please help the poor. Life from the poor is in your hand. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Every day, poor and daddy, they're suffering every day. They're struggling to survive. Oh no, they're struggling just to eat. Please reach me, please reach me, go. Help the poor. My father, Christmas husband. I heard you went to that widow's house and promised to pay her children's school fees. Who told you that? I'm just coming from there. Her children told me. Only God knows what next you'll do after paying her children's school fees. I'll give them feeding money. Every month, I'll send them feeding money. She's a widow. Didn't Jesus say we should help widows? It's there in your Bible, isn't it? I hear you. Yusuf, I know you're eyeing that woman. I know what your plans towards that woman are. And I'm watching you. 
Any day they pay their school fees, I will know it's you. I'm not hiding it. I'm even coming to pay it tomorrow. Really? Yeah, tomorrow I'll pay their school fees and give them feeding money too. That means you now have money. Okay now. Give me the money you borrowed from me this morning. I don't have any money right now, but by tomorrow I'll have money to pay their school fees and give you your money back, hopefully. My brother, please help the poor. If you're in a better position, my sister, please help the poor. My brother, please help the poor. If you're in a better position, my sister, please help the Mom, I've been meaning to ask you, why did you get married to a Muslim man? First and foremost, we are serving the same God. And um, secondly, love. I've always loved your father. So, do I answer your question? Yes, Mom. Mom, Dad is in that position again. I went out. I was sad that he's still there. He could not get up. I don't understand. Maybe he has gone for those his trances again. Only God knows what he's coming out with this time. Mom, are you not happy that God is using that to change our world? As for me, I'm happy. Oh, at least I've learned how to help those in need. I hear you. Why won't you be happy? If you like, behave like him. That's your business. After all, both of you have a lot in common. Let me go and see my husband. Alone I can enjoy, but together we can celebrate. We can celebrate together. My dear, I'm afraid. I have some messages that we must obey urgently or we're going to lose our children. God forbid. God forbid. I reject it in Jesus' name. <laughs> My God is not wicked. He is not a killer. Let me tell you something. If this is a way, a gimmick to get me into selling any of my things, lie, lie, I will not sell any of my things. I am not giving you any of the documents to any of the properties. They belong to my children. My God is bigger than all these your stupid trances, stupid messages, nonsense. <laughs> So how are you, madam? I'm fine, thank you, sir. I told you I'll come and here I am. You're welcome, sir. How are the kids? They are fine, they're doing well, sir. So what's been up? Mm. How have you been coping? Mm. I've been trying my best to survive. You know? I told you I lost my job, my banking job. So I've just been doing some bit of catering and events planning. Okay. And the job doesn't come by all the time. Okay. So I've not been finding it easy to cope with this child. Yeah, so I've been trying my best. But there is something I don't understand. Now your your husband's people, they are not helping you out? Well, all of them, my husband's relatives has been of help to me, but he traveled for over a year now. And since he left, I've never had any help for many of them. But where are the kids? They're inside. Children, come out, please. You're angry because you didn't go to school today and yesterday. Don't worry, you go back to school. I hope you've eaten. No, sir. Not eating this evening, so it's not a problem now. 
You ate in the afternoon? What? You didn't eat in the afternoon? Yeah. And this evening, yeah. what are you going to eat? You? You've not eaten too? Oh, madam, they've not eaten this morning. They've not eaten this morning. Okay, well, I told you I'll come to help out with the school fees. So this is it. This is a hundred thousand naira. Oh, take it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful. Thank you. Eighty thousand naira in your school fees, I know. So, and the remaining twenty thousand naira, you use it for food. It's okay. Thank you. Study hard, okay? Madam, you have my number. Yes. If you call me if there is any problem. Okay. I keep fighting, okay? Okay. Thank I'll you. see what I can do to assist whenever. Thank you, sir. Good place, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Buy your carrot and garden egg. Buy your banana and granite. Buy your carrot and garden egg. You should go and now be for Ajana. Nyanya, come, come, come. Granite and banana, come. I'd like to eat without you know. Fresh, fresh things they sweet me well, well. <laughs> How much are they selling for banana? How much are they selling for granite? Banana is 100 naira, granite 50 naira. Got the egg, we have 50 naira, on carrot is 50 naira. Me, I don't want time for the egg, I don't want time for carrot. I want time for granite and banana. I go test them if I, if I, I go pay. Eh? Me, I go first test them for. Sweet to me, well, well. Hmm. Testing. I will test first. Brother, how much one do you want to buy? Shut up, my mouth. Don't insult me. If you insult me, I go clear for somebody. Why they insult me now? They make a taste, uh, taste them for banana. I go taste them for ground before I go pay. Brother, you have eaten one banana already and you want to take the second one. Brother, please pay us our money for the ones you have eaten. If my money is not complete, I pray that I'm going to skin us alive. Brother, please pay us for the ones you have eaten. Pay us our money. Shut up your mouth! Don't insult me! If you insult me again, me, I go kill up with somebody here. I say, make I taste them for banana, I taste them for granola, before I go pay. Why you insult me? If you insult me again, me, I go kill up with somebody. Don't insult me. Brother, we are not insulting you. We only ask you to pay for the one you have already eaten. Look at me! Me, little witch. Don't insult me again because if you insult me, me, I go kill them for somebody. I say, make I test them for banana, I go chop. I go test them for granite, I go chop before I go pay. Don't insult me because if you insult me, somebody go die here. Nah, 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 nah. I go kill them for somebody. Pay us our money, oh. Pay us our money. But I please pay us our money. But I pay us our money, oh. But I pay us our money. What's going on here? Danjuma! Oh, what happened here? We can look in. I don't do them anything. Well, let me tell you, I don't do them anything. Me, I did my own. In Anginga insulting me. I decrease, I decrease, I decrease, I decrease. Me, I worry granite and banana. Me, I know decrease. Okay, like me, I know decrease. Well, let me me, I know decrease. Come on, Gitz. What happened? No, sir. That's not what happened, though. We're working our goose. Now he then called us to come out to say he wanted to buy banana and granite. He asked us how much we were selling it. We told him that the banana is 100 naira and that the granite is 50 naira. He said he was going to taste some fair before he paid for it. After testing two, he said that he should pay us our money. He said that he was not going to pay us our money, that he wanted to test more. After that, he threw our granite away. And now he refused to pay us our money. Our parents are going to beat us if we don't bring our money home. Is that what happened? What she said was what happened. Danjuma, Uga, is something wrong with you? So you ate the granite you did not pay? Uga, and you poured the granite away? Uga, you had the F4 tree to pour the granite away? Uga, what kind of wickedness is that? Uga, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Danjuma, Uga, is something wrong with you? Uga. Okay now Danjuma, I am going to give your salary to them to feed. Hey. For this thing you have done. Your salary is going to go to them. Oga, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have given your salary to them right now. Oga, oga, I'm sorry, I'm no sorry. way. 
You will suffer for it. And if you try something like this next time, you're supposed to be in school. Why are you not in school? Because our parents couldn't afford our school fees. Where do you live? We stay down the road in an uncompleted building. Tell your parents. All okay. of you should come and see me. Okay? Okay. Danjuma! Danjuma! Sweetheart, sweetheart, I'm looking for an envelope I kept in my wardrobe. It contains my tithe and I'm almost late for church. Did you see it? I saw it. Ah, thank God. Please come and give it to me. I've given it to God for you. How do you mean? Did you go to church? I used it to pay those kids' school fees. And I gave them the remaining 20,000 naira to it. Ah! You so... Do you know that you have committed an abomination? No. No. You stole from God. No. Something that belongs to God. You used it to pay for your girlfriend's children's school fees. I gave it back to God. Those kids are poor. They can't go to school. I paid their school fees and gave them money to eat. So I gave it to God. The Bible says he that gives to the poor lends to God. <sighs> I should have just listened to my father. Yusuf, you just stole from God. You just stole from God. Why did I even marry you? I should have just listened to my father. Why did I marry you? I regret everything my pastor must say this. But this man will not kill me, oh. This man will not kill me. Ah. I'll be a Oh, who I really for? We went to see Oga. I want to see Oga. Mm. Me, I stay, me, I go inside, me, I tell me, me, I come back, me, I go inside. Kajiko. Papa, Papa, this is the man that tried Oga not to be. Thank you, Mo. Why should we thank someone who? Away, you are in Why? Look at these children. You said we should thank him. Don't you know that this man is a very wicked man? Very, Why very, should we thank him? Very, very. <laughs> Papa, I think that God wanted to use him to bless us. Papa, the Bible also says that everything works out together for good, so thank him. They are so correct. Good, good, good. Ah, good. Alhaji, somebody look out for my gate. Who I, who I, who I, who I, who I open gate. I want to see me. I want to see my Olga. Who is the person? Um, Papa, Mama, one fikin, two fikin, three fikin. In fact, all my family. I want to see me Olga. You can go and tell them to come in. Hi, Wana. Oga okay, Alhaji, me I do inside. Me, I come inside. Kajiko. If you're in a better position, my brother, please help the poor. If you're in a better position, my sister, please help the poor. Life from the poor is in your hand. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. The poor are dying every day. 
for a dog, they're suffering every day. They're struggling to survive. Oh no. Welcome, sir. Thank you, my dear. Thank you very much, sir. Children, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. No more wahala with the gate man, eh? No, sir. Okay. What are your names, sir? My name is Sylvester Ndo, and this is my wife, Mabel. Uh, I want to thank you so much for the money you gave us sometime. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. God will continue to bless you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> sir, why are they not in school? I saw both of them hawking. They are not in school because I can't afford the fee. What pains me much is uh, the admission of my elder daughter. She got admission into the university to do medicine. But where is it now? We can't go. We can't. Yeah. And what were you doing before now? We ran back from the north. As a result of a religious crisis, I had a very big restaurant in Kaduna and uh, it sustained us. I have a BQ here, two rooms and a parlor with a toilet and kitchen. You can move in there if you want. Sir, from now, I will begin to pay your kids' school fees, all of them. Hey! Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Hey! Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey! 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 Go into the apartment you provided for us. As soon as you want, sir. Yeah. Let me give you some money. So you you use it to um, to charter a vehicle. Get your things in. God we bless you. It will be funny for me to tell you that we had nothing except the, the cooking utensils and some other little wares we have. So we don't have property to transport to this place. You see, our former landlord collected everything we had, sold them to pay for what we owed him for rent. So we don't have any property as such. We have everything here. If you go to the store, we have bed, the foam, the gas cooker, the freezer, and television. Whatever you want, we have it there. Hey. I will call the gate man to take you to the store. Take all the things you need for the apartment. Don't let anything bother you, sir. So we shall begin to live like we We are rich now. <laughs> hey! Thank you, sir. Papa, I told you that all things work out together for good. Assuming the gatesman hadn't shown our granddaughter away, we wouldn't have this favor. So thank him. You have intelligent children. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Hey! Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, no. I had everything. What is even wrong with you? You keep giving people everything. One day you will give out your soul. Well, if my soul will save a soul, I will give it out, my dear. I will give it out. What is even wrong with you? Nothing. I'm only obeying the commandment of God. You keep bringing all manner of people into our home. No privacy. You don't even know who they are. They could be robbers or witches. My dear, if they are robbers or witches, that's not my problem. The most important thing to me is that I'm doing the will of God. I'm trying to help the needy. They are poor. They need a place to stay. We have a vacant apartment here. Who is in the boys' quarter? Nobody is there. 
Nobody is there, Bumi. They stay in an uncompleted building. And is that a problem? Huh? You keep doing things your way. You don't even consult your wife. How would I consult you? When I know you will never accept. You will never accept. Helping the poor, just a little help, you will never accept and you say you are a Christian. Of course I'm a Christian. A born again Christian. It is not by works, but by grace. Is that what Jesus Christ says? By grace, is that what Jesus Christ says? You read your Bible, don't you? Go and read Matthew 25. Chapter 25 from verse 31. Read it down and you'll see. In short, look at, I have, I should have it here. I know you won't read it. Well, let me read it for you to hear. Well, let me read it. Wait. Oh, my Bible here. Yeah. I have my Bible, Bible downloaded here. Yeah. I have the Quran. You know it. Now look at it. Matthew chapter 25 from verse 21. Let me just read a few. Are you listening? Listen. Verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you cleared me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous, my wife, listen, oh, verse 37, then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and fed you? When did we see you thirsty and gave you drink? When did we see you a stranger and took you in? When did we see you naked and clothed you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and came unto you? And the king shall answer, listen now, and the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. For me, what I have done, it's not just, I'm not just doing it for them, I'm doing it for God. Okay? What's my own? Keep doing it now. I'll sell everything and I'll give it to the poor. I've told you. And the documents with you, you will give them to me. Please don't just start. Let's see how it goes. Then. Okay. Um, Mr. Mechi, I, I didn't hear you clearly on phone when you called me, so I decided to come and see you. I oh. hope there's no problem. No problem. Well, you see, uh, we want to appreciate you and your assistance all through the years you've given us. We are happy. I want to thank you so much. <laughs> Mr. Mechi, mm. I am the one to thank you. I have to appreciate you because your presence here was something for me a lot. Um, I, I need to appreciate you because if not you, or your presence here, or these hoodlums, or 419ers would have sold this place out. So I am the one to appreciate you. Thank you so much. We thank you so much. We also like to inform you that uh, we may be packing away from this compound tomorrow morning. Uh, Why? S -s 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 Excuse me, sir. Have I offended you and your family in any no, way? No, sir. So what is the problem now? Why are you packing out? The problem is not bad anyway. It's no problem as such. A man, in fact, God sent man has offered to give us an accommodation, a well-furnished accommodation. And uh, we appreciate him and uh, you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. Amoichi, mm. what you've just said now, are you very sure of what you've just said? I'm sure. Are you sure? I'm sure. That's a good one. A high level of benevolence. Eh? Yes. You see, to find such a man in our society is very, very, very rare. rare. Very, very rare. rare. Actually, yeah. glory be to God. Thank you. Thank glory you. Glory be to God. Oh, yes. Glory yeah. be God. We appreciate mm -hmm. God. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Landlord, we thank you so much for everything. You gave us hope when we thought that our lives were over. Thank you so much. We give God glory. You see, you don't, you don't, you don't have to mention. I mean, it's not by my power. Okay? So the, the, see, the good thing there is that you are packing out from an uncompleted building to a well-furnished mansion. So we give God glory. Thank you, sir. So, um, Mr. Mochi, I'll be leaving. 
take care of yourself and your family. Okay. Bye, 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 have a backyard? Eh? I'm asking you, don't, don't, don't force me to slap you now. Don't you have a backyard where you can take all these plates that animals eat with to wash? We have. By the way, where are your parents? They've all gone out, ma. They've all gone out. I don't blame you. I blame my husband. My husband who brought in every Tom, Dick and Harry. Every animal that escapes from Yakari Game Reserve, he brings in here as if this is an animal kingdom. Before I blink now, eh? You have disappeared to the backyard. But when I slap you, you become dead. Nonsense! Look at me, eh? Come here! Come! Come on! I so blame you. If not for one thing, I would have beaten you up now. Will you pack all these things and get out? I'll be fast about it. Look at, look at nonsense. Not even good plates and pots. Eh? Look, 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 look at Mom, what you're doing is not right. You're accusing Dad unnecessarily. You're putting him under pressure. Yes, Mom. You're sounding too insecure. Mom, you're pushing Dad. And if Dad goes ahead to marry another woman, you pushed him into it. I can see both of you are now supporting your father, right? Mom, we're not supporting him, but you're becoming too suspicious. Look at what he did to Blessing, just because Dad gave her a lift. Yes, Mom. You're being too insecure and greedy. You're a Christian, Mom. You want to acquire and acquire. Tell me, what are you doing with all the money and houses? I have just the two of you as my children. Whatever I do today, is for your own good, for your future. But it's obvious you're not appreciating it. Mom, we understand. We understand. But I, I think I like the way Dad lives his life. He's not attached to the things of the world. Yes, Mom. Thank you for this sermon. Okay? I want to be left alone. Both of you should just leave my presence. My word. No. I believe that with the present situation of things, something is wrong somewhere. 
Nah, not just that, you. Do you know since we moved into this house, you hardly see smiles on her face? So, I'm afraid, though. Or should I call it that she has not been happy with the way the husband helps us with that? There's a body. I don't know. Mama, can you imagine? The day I was watching our cooking utensils, she came out full with anger and said that we are animals from the zoo. She hey. also said that we are deported from your carry game reserve. Hey. So, hey! She said all oh, this. Hey. Yes, mm. Papa. Oh, God. You should have allowed us. To remain where we were before. Mama, hey. no, no, it's okay. No, it's okay. Everything hey. will be fine. Mommy. It's okay. Mama, don't worry. I believe what Auntie Joanne is saying. Everything will soon be over. Mama, stop crying. Please. Mama, please stop crying. Mm. My children, it's very painful. Now who they, now who they not come to my gate? Is your guy in? Oh, that I know they. Yeah, who is this side? madam, I did. Okay, tell her that somebody wants to see her. Come madam, somebody not come for my gate for outside. I want to see him for come madam. Who is the person? I there for outside. A man or a woman? Bring him in. You will. You can go. Good day. Young man, how may I help you? I'm here in respect of these two people. The card has this address. These are my children. How did you get their ID cards? Are they your children? Yeah. Yes. Um, please, uh, can we go inside and talk? There's no point. My husband is not at home. We can talk here. If you insist. Man, I'm sorry. I have bad news for you. Bad news? What happened? Your children were involved in a car accident. And they are dead. No, no, no. Ma, please. No, take it easy. No, uh, get man. talking about is it my fault you are, you are a very wicked man evil man what are you, you killed my children give me back my children today i, I have warned you your greed will not let you be you want to acquire the world you you have transit eh? well orchestrated okay, just 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 give me my children you orchestrated okay, your plan that was why you came up with those fake prophecies oh, so, give I, me back my so children. i caused the accident too be reasonable, for me, be reasonable, be reasonable, it's your fault, they are my children too, I love them, you know I love my children, how could I have killed my children, how could I have killed my children for me, how can you say this, with all the times we had together, so you can accuse me of killing my children for me, you are wicked, you are wicked, I'm giving you, this marriage is over, Bumi, you're I'm not leaving doing you that. for good before Bumi, you kill you me, I'm leaving you for good before you kill me the way you kill our daughters. I'm leaving you. You are an evil man. You are a very wicked man. You are a ritualist. You are mean. Get, get. My people will come back here. They will come and pack all my things and pay you back. 
you, Darwin. Wicked man, evil. You are evil. Wizard. You are wizard. You are wizard. You are wizard. Evil man. Ritualist. What do you mean you can't recognize me? No, I can't. Who I are you? Daddy, come on. <laughs> you can't recognize your daughter. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Juan. <laughs> That's my Dr. Juan. Oh, How are you? Fine, sir. You're the longest time. Ha! Huh. You're all grown up. Oh, well, that is me 15. No, 15 years. How time flies. That's my wife. Oh, good afternoon, Ma. Nice meeting you. And these are my kids. Oh, hello. How are you? How are you there? Fine. How is your dad? He's late. Oh, I'm sorry about that. And your mom? Fine. She's home with my younger ones. Mm. Thank God for that. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. You're yeah, still carrying this afro. Yeah, but it's all grey now. <laughs> so what's been happening with you? We have been to your house, you know, after your ex-wife shows up there after you travel. I heard. The first time I came, she said I should not come back to her house. The second time, the game might just give me a number because he doesn't know me. And the third time you came to the house, I was told you sold the house. Yeah, I sold the house. I stay in a rented apartment now, though. But we're happy and we is happy, isn't yes, it? Yes, we are. Yeah. Well, Daddy, are you aware your ex-wife is late? Bumi? Yeah, she died at my hospital yesterday. Bumi is dead? Ah! Oh! Bumi! Daddy, Jesus! <laughs> Struggling to survive. Oh no, they're struggling. Just 